The first tool uh, in this toolbox is general. With the help of this tool, you can perform all kinds of measurements in the toolbox. Click on each uh, section to measure its size. Uh, you can also uh, change the size in the menu detail. After selecting each area to measure, you can right click to access other items such as horizontal, vertical and uh, angle measurements. Note that when you use this tool and the sizes turn red, it means that extra measurements have been made. That is, you have measured the part that has already been measured. Horizontal and vertical tools are the tools uh, for set the dimension between uh, two items. About the horizontal at first, select two points or edge to create a horizontal dimension between them, then choose a position for the dimension text. You can choose lines for the dimension, but they are not actually used. Instead, the end point and nearest your selection is used. The selection location determines which side of a circle or ellipse uh, or its arc is used. SP lines are not selectable for this function, but uh, their endpoints can be used. Note that the dimension measures only the distance uh, in the horizontal x axis, I mean direction. Any vertical distance is ignored. And about the vertical, all things uh, are like the horizontal but uh, vertically. Length distance tools. Uh, the length distance dimension measures the true distance between two selected points or edges. Uh, the selection location determines which side of a circle or ellipse or its arc is used. SP lines are not selectable for this function, but their endpoints can be used. Radius and diameter. Uh, are the tools uh, to specify the dimensions for all kinds of arc, uh, for instance, a circle and ellipse. Select a circle or ellipse or uh, their arcs for this tool. If you select an ellipse or elliptical arc, either its major or minor radius will be dimensioned uh, depending on the selection location and whether another dimension already exists. Angle tool Select two lines to create an angle dimension between them. By varying the selection order and location, you can control whether you are dimensioning the acute, obtuse, or 360 degree minus the acute or obtuse angle. The selection process gives you the flexibility to create any kind of angle dimension uh, you may want. Imagine the intersection of the two lines as the center of a clock. Then uh, the end of the lines uh, that you select nearest uh, will be the direction of the hands on the clock. Mm, finally, the dimension will measure the angle counterclockwise from the first selected line to the second. You may then position the text of the dimension where you want it. Semi-automatic the semi-automatic tool will present a series of dimensions for you to place to help fully dimension your model. Note that each of a sketch uh, that are hidden will be ignored unless uh, that a sketch is the active sketch. 
Edit tool allows you to edit the name and value of a dimension or change uh, its reference dimension flag. If you set it to be a reference dimension, you cannot change its value to change the model. Instead, change uh, to the model will change the value of a reference uh, or driven dimension. Note that reference dimensions are displayed inside uh, parentheses. The dimension value can uh, also be edited in the sketch detail. And about the move. Actually, the move tool allows you to reposition an existing dimension. Simply select a dimension to move, then click again to define its new location. The animate tool allows you to see the effect that changing a dimension through a range of values would have on this sketch. You can set a minimum and maximum scale in the option dialog box to apply to the uh, dimension. The system will run through several cycles uh, set in toolbox edit box of modifying the selected dimension between its values times the minimum factor and its value times the maximum factor. The right mouse button speed selections determine how many intermediate steps are calculated and displayed, thus affecting the speed of the animation. The speed will also be affected by the complexity of the sketch uh, in the current plane. The sketch will return to its original state when finished. The last tool in this toolbox is display. The display name value command allows you to decide whether to display dimension names, values, or both. 